Okay, so the first card is the King of Coins. Interesting, in the reverse position. So at the heart of the matter is um, there is some situation that you are currently dealing with that um, you're not really sure how to proceed, okay? Um, I'm reading this energy as you, male or female. It could be an, an energy that is external to you, but at the heart of the matter is that um, a lot of you might be dealing with another person of the earth element or somebody that... Um, you know, usually in the past, they are pretty stable, they are pretty reliable, but something is happening to them this week in which wires are crossed, so you don't really know how you want to proceed, okay? And at the same time, if this is not an external energy and this is within you, then I do sense that um, a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of waiting period is in the works for you, okay? What's crossing you here is the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups deals with, um, you know, total emotional happiness, okay? So your sense of emotional happy, happiness might be dependent on, upon the actions of another person. And I do feel that this person that you're dealing with is um, was somebody very reliable. And then there are some kinks in the works that need to be worked out between the two of you. There might be some uh, communication problems as well because it is Mercury in retrograde. So that could be causing it. So, you know, just um, above all else, be very careful, okay? In the recent past, I have the Page of Cups, and this um, situation itself is just kind of like, um, it's a new energy, and it deals with somebody who is, um, if we are looking at this situation from a relationship perspective, and relationship is not always love-oriented or romantically uh, inclined, okay? It can be all aspects of your life, all interpersonal relationships. What I am seeing here is um, it's somebody who promises and doesn't deliver, okay? And a page energy is they mean really well, but I don't feel that they have the capacity to deliver. So on a, a work front, you might have somebody that um, promises they'll help you, but when you know it actually comes down to it, they don't really have the time to help you. They don't have the resources. They don't have the knowledge, okay? So it is important to... I guess be self-reliant this week and not involve too many people in your endeavors, mainly because people can leave you hanging. I do feel they have the best intentions and, you know, whatever capacity they're, um, you know them as, they are trying their best, but um, it's a young energy, so I don't feel that it is a very stable energy. Um, in terms of what's coming in, we have the Temperance card. And once again, this uh, energy is um, corroborating the other three cards in that it does indicate, you know, um, don't get rattled and just very be very patient with the other person because they mean well, okay? So at the heart of it, if someone means well and they just don't have the means, they don't have the um, the freedom to, to really help you out, just don't be rattled. I do feel a lot of you are kind of like um, aware of this situation and you're, you, you've you kind of like um, overlooked it many, many times and you know things are coming to light this week and you're just kind of like, I don't know if I should, you know, um, communicate with them anymore. I don't know if I want somebody like that in my life to complicate things for me in the future, but I don't feel it's the right time to make the decision yet, so don't get rattled. What's crowning you here is the Knight of Wands. So we have... Um, three court cards so far. The Knight of Wands in the reverse position is a fire sign, and this is a fiery energy. And what I sense here is, um, you know, if we are looking at this as a, an external, um, an, a, as an external energy, what it does indicate is um, it's a somebody who might be a little bit flaky. It could also be somebody who over ex exerts themselves or overextends their resources and themselves their time in general so as a result they forget a lot of things or they just don't have the ability to follow through and th all three of these court cards indicate to me that someone means well but they've been kind of flaky and you're going to be dealing with this situation so it is best to not be rattled but at the same time after the Mercury in uh, retrograde period, which is, uh, it will end on June 11th, it is important to have a conversation and, you know, try to sort um, this out, all right, because it is a repeated pattern and um, it's something that can be fixed with a quick conversation because the person ultimately means well, okay? Something that you're not aware of here, we have the Queen of Swords, so um, in the reverse position too. Yeah, so it's the same type of energy, okay? So I'm reading this as you, male or female as well. 
and this is a quick fix it a conversation needs to be had and you know a little more discernment needs to happen from your end in terms of dealing with somebody in your environment who is like this or dealing with an energy that is like this okay so be a little bit more careful with this but the best time to do this is after this mercury and retrograde period because i do feel that harsh words could be exchanged which can blow things out of proportion okay so keep calm about it um the six of coins here yeah it's so this is a card of service. It is also like a card of a, a helping hand. In the reverse position, I do feel, again, that, um, you know, someone makes promises, they can't really help out. And um, from your end, they're considered a flake. But, you know, ultimately, I do feel that they just don't have the means to do it. So it is very, very important for you to be self-reliant for this week and, you know, keep things into perspective for yourself and really try to do things, you know, based on your own timeline, based on your own schedule without having to accommodate another person because ultimately they are going to be like flaky and it is going to be frustrating, okay, more than anything. Um, I feel that you have a very good sense of humor about this whole thing, so I don't feel that you're going to be rattled. But this is something that needs to be addressed too, okay? Because it is happening time and time again. So, um, you know, step up to the plate and be the bigger person and get to the root of this problem. As for your external environment, I have the Nine of Wands. Um, so, let me see here. The Nine of Wands, in this deck though, in the reverse position, um, it is somebody who is... Um, coming in from the external environment okay so this is outside of yourself and what i do sense here it is somebody who is kind of like um their heart chakra is is blocked okay so it's somebody who treads through life very very lightly and um they lack introspection they lack kind of like hindsight and foresight so it's kind of like they're very muddled they're kind of like um I guess, uh, bouncing through life and they're never like settled in one place long enough to really re-examine their themselves, re-examine their lives. So it's somebody who I wouldn't say emotionally mature. They are capable of a lot of depth um, and they, they have good insights about other people, but they don't really have good insights about themselves. It's mainly because they're bouncing around so much that they don't really have time to introspect, okay? So you are going to deal with somebody like this who can be problematic. So once again, just know that um, it's this person's lifestyle rather than, you know, their intelligence, rather than their innate characteristics that are making them like this, okay? So... It's not a conscious choice. They they don't choose to be like very superficial. It's just something that they grew up with and it's just their the way their life is playing out. It might be very different from you. You are an earth sign, so most of you tend to like live a very sedentary life. This is the the card of like the ultimate nomad, okay? This is somebody who collects experiences. So for those of you who are single and dating, you might encounter somebody with this energy. Just be a little bit careful because I don't feel they have enough insight to um, fulfill you emotionally long term okay so they're kind of like bouncing through life and kind of like um, having many experiences and kind of like you know checking off their bucket list and they don't really care who they leave behind or who they get with in the future so just be careful with that energy if you are out there dating as for your hopes and aspirations what I do see here is the queen of coins in the reverse position so um for especially for female Virgos, what I sense here is this person is going to um, this person is like the opposite, you know, the the opposite of what you ultimately stand for. OK, so this is basically a lot of you might be grappling with this energy as a sense of inner conflict in that um, you want the means and you, you want to be able to collect life experiences, too, and to also like um ultimately you know start checking off and doing things on your bucket list okay because you are admiring this other person you don't you might not have the means to do it or you might not have like the courage to really step out of your comfort zone in order to live the way this person lives because ultimately you feel that you know their life is really fun is very exotic it's just very um enticing 
However, there are financial constraints on your end. There are also like emotional constraints and you might be feeling, you know, in general that um, your your values, your, the way you live your life in general is not uh, conducive for this type of excitement. So a lot of you might be grappling with this or a lot of you might be, you know, saving up that nest egg, like saving up money in order to have this long term. So either way, I feel that, um, you know, the timing is everything here. So this actually this mercury in retrograde period is going to force you to look within and realize what it is that you are ultimately doing like if the job that you have is right for you if the the friends in your midst are the right people who can uh, um, contribute to your higher self to your own emotional growth spiritual growth so there is a period of um, re-examination here you know it's kind of like um, a midlife crisis but I do feel that this energy is there for a reason so that you can reassess and formulate a plan as to like where you are and what you want to do and how you can get there okay um, a lot of you might not have a problem with this but I do feel that um, you know the things that you grew up wanting might be a little bit um, different this this week mainly because of the mercury in retrograde period it is going to give us a, a false sense of like um, um, illusion okay so like disillusionment with our current lifestyle and it could also bring in like an air of impulsiveness so a lot of you might want to break out of your shell and be this unconventional person you know to be this uh, world traveler for example or just somebody who blazes through life and collects experience so a lot of you find this very very attractive if you are dealing with this as an external energy you might encounter somebody like this who is very enticing who's just really exotic who travels from far away so um, just keep in mind that it is a very transient energy if this person is coming in or if this energy is coming in in which you know it rattles you and you want to be like this um, it's not a stable energy so you know be aware of it okay and be careful with it so don't make rash decisions this um, for this week and this is a very good card here we have the star in the upright position okay so what I sense here at the heart of it is um, you know the star is ultimately that wish card okay and the star and the nine of cups they're both wish cards but the star indicates like the big picture the long-term plans okay so a lot of you have made uh, sacrifices have forgone like um, immediate um, I guess like immediate pleasures for long-term gains and you know just know that you are definitely on the right track whatever you've been doing you've been doing it the right way because um, you know in comparison we're looking at this person who is like scarred by life but you know they 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 pick themselves up and they move on and that's because they're lacking in a lot of like introspection they're lacking in that whole process in which you know you have to learn from your experiences you can't just collect them for just to be a collector you also have to reflect on them and know if they're good for you long term okay so while this lifestyle is ultimately very exciting it is not conducive for anything long term okay so whatever you've been doing you are on the right track and basically the advice here is um, you know would you rather be somebody who is uh, reliable who is you know like um, who is always there when others need them or who is always there and can be counted on by loved ones family members would you rather have that or would you rather be you know known as a flake known as somebody who bounces around and who does who doesn't have like good insights okay so ultimately it is like um, a a conflict between you know your own sets of values versus somebody else that you might look up to that you might admire okay so just know that whatever you're doing is appropriate for you and whatever they're doing is appropriate for their value system and their lifestyle so it's not really um, fair to compare and contrast or even like to say one life is better it's just based on the person that is living it okay so keep that in mind and don't lose your sense of self all right 